All right, so there's two crucial components to any great audiovisual project, and maybe you guessed it. It's audio and video. Now, connecting and controlling the multiple angles, cameras, and multiple sound devices that you want to bring into your Cinemaker production, well, it's fairly simple. So why don't we dive in? So once you've opened up the Cinemaker Director Studio app, you're gonna wanna start by pressing the new session button and enter into the main interface. Now, if you're going wireless, make sure all the devices, including the Director Studio on your Mac or iPad are all connected to the same wireless network, as this will be crucial to finding these devices. Now, it's important to note that if you wanna do a wired setup because maybe you're in a place that doesn't have the best Wi-Fi, that's possible. In fact, that's what I'm doing here. You can plug in with some hard wires and some ethernet cables to do a power over an ethernet system that is lightning fast. Now, that's a lesson for another time because at the end of the day, with your phone and the Cinemaker Capture app, you should be able to connect wirelessly and easily. But you can always go learn more about the tech, the hardware, and some of these other connections in the Cinemaker Learning Center directly on our website. Next, click on the camera browser icon located at the bottom right of the main feed or output window. You should be able to turn on and off your devices from the screen and see a bunch of geeky info like latency and more if you really want to dive deep. Now, let me remind you that Cinemaker's Director Studio allows you to bring up to eight camera angles into your production. And you don't have to be limited to iPhones or iPads in the Capture app. Really, you can be using DSLRs or numerous modern cameras that have any format HDMI output, including devices with NDI connections, as well as the capacity to bring in a webcam and remote guests directly via Zoom. But we'll get to that in a later video. Oh yeah, and you're also able to bring in the power of screen sharing to any of your live productions via Cine.io. So at this point, you should be able to see your selected cameras on the Director Studio interface. Press on each of the camera previews to switch your master program output, AKA what your people on a live stream or in your recordings will see. Also, relax. It doesn't matter if you miss a cut in your live editing production because you can always go back and adjust it later in the in-app editor. So now that you've got your video rolling, let's talk sound. Cinemaker allows you to have a dedicated audio input, which can be separate device that uses the Cinemaker Capture app, but under the audio option. From here, you'll be able to see levels and can monitor the device as an internal mic using the iPhone's mic or external, which can come from any audio device attached directly to the phone, be it a lapel, a video mic, or even an out from a soundboard, kind of like the one I have here, the Rodecaster. This input can also go into any of the cameras or pull the Mac audio. Now, as a rule of thumb for best practices, what I would generally say is you probably want to mute all other audio sources except for one. Now, here's why. You don't want to have echo coming from multiple devices. Now, of course, if you've got a lav and you've got roaming cameras because you're going wireless, maybe you want to mix it up. Now, for me, the best practice when in studio is I really want to use something like the Rodecaster an audio input that allows me to mix it in any way, shape, or form that I'd like. Now, I love the idea of being able to press soundboard buttons and bring in a bunch of different elements. I can bring in callers, I can string up multiple mics, and I can even monitor myself by hearing what's rolling through. And the mix happens directly on the board. But of course, you can do those mixes directly in the Cinemaker Director Studio app as well. Now, if you really want to know what your audio is going to sound like in the final production, you can go to the audio monitoring audio tab monitoring right tab. here at the top right of the main top output. Of the main You'll output. be able to turn down the volume, up the volume, the and volume, be able to control everything that you need to. Turn it off when you get to recording. Now, at the end of the day, you can make it as simple or as complex as you want when it comes to connecting and controlling the multiple devices, both on the audio and video side of Cinemaker. But here's what I suggest. Hit that record button. Test it, try it, connect a couple of devices, see what it looks and sounds like, and, well, adjust. That's the best way to get learning. So why not give it a shot before moving on to the mixing and layering video, where you can bring on a whole slew of amazing features that you can mix and layer in to bring your live streams and live recordings to another level. Now, let's jump in.